So we now we've looked at all the substitution reactions of alcohols, so now we're going to look at elimination reactions for alcohols. And uh, we use H2SO4 to do this. Now, uh, you guys might recall that we learned I can turn an alkene into an alcohol using dilute H2SO4. So in this case, we can go the opposite direction if we use concentrated H2SO4. It turns out there's an equilibrium here. Uh, and with this equilibrium, if you use dilute H2SO4, uh, it shifts it towards the alcohol. If you use concentrated H2SO4, it shifts it towards the alkene. Uh, so keep that in mind. We're going to use concentrated H2SO4, exactly uh, the opposite reaction we learned with alkene. So uh, in this case, though, uh, first thing that's going to happen is your OH, again, is a bad leaving group. But if we protonate it, it'll become a good leaving group water. And so that's the first step. We're just going to simply come down here, do proton transfer, and get protonated by sulfuric acid. And now we've got a great leaving group, water. So in the turns out for secondary and tertiary alcohols, they go by the E1 mechanism, whereas primary alcohols are going to go by E2, since E1 is generally not possible for primary alcohols. Again, not, forming, not being able to form a primary carbocation. But with our secondary alcohol that we're starting with here, we can definitely form a secondary carbocation. And your next step is the leaving group just leaves to form that carbocation. So now we've got this lovely carbocation, and rearrangements are possible, although not for this example. Uh, but in principle, rearrangements could happen. And then from here, we're going to deprotonate. And in this case, the water molecule that just left, some people might use the HSO4 minus molecule that would have formed earlier, but water is probably the more likely base here. And we'll do the rest of E1 elimination here to form our alkene product. So that's the E1 mechanism uh, for a secondary or tertiary alcohol, secondary in this case. Uh, let's take a look at the E2 mechanism for the primary alcohol off over here. The first step's the same. We've got to turn our OH, which is a bad leaving group, into a good one. And so we'll deprotonate sulfuric acid or get protonated by sulfuric acid, however you want to look at it. And now our bad leaving group is good, being a water molecule. So, and in this case, can't form a carbocation in this case. Uh, so in this case, it's most likely probably going to be that HSO4 minus. So, and that's going to come, and I should draw it in first. That's going to come and deprotonate an H from the adjacent carbon. So we're going to come in, deprotonate. That frees up those electrons to make the pi bond, which causes the leaving group to leave all simultaneously. So if you recall, the E2 mechanism is a concerted mechanism. And there is your final alkene product in this case. No chance for rearrangements, at least not in the traditional sense. There is kind of a funky exception that creeps its head out every once in a while. Um, but there is your major product. Both of these generally form the more substituted alkene possible, if it matters. Uh, in this case, I didn't really give an example where that could.